Okay. What is it? I guess these are some kind of magnifying glasses, maybe? Measurements or something? This looks like a bunch of rulers. Does this say the elevation? Spins around. <laughs> Oops. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is like one of those math geometry sets. So it looks like you need to set it down and make sure it's level. Not really seeing anything here. This has got to be probably about as old as like my mom. 60, 60, 70 years old. I have no clue what this is. <laughs> so this item is called a sling psychrometer. You can equate the two temperature readings to find the relative humidity. A sling psychrometer. <laughs> so that's a Leroy lettering set for typography on maps. This is a pressure altimeter. It's an instrument used to measure the altitude. So that is a stereoscope, the original 3D map viewer. Yeah, I would have never guessed that. Wow, I think it's pretty cool. A lot has changed in the last 50 years, but a lot has stayed the same. The Faculty of Environment has always been a place of curiosity, community, and caring. A place where we develop talent and mobilize knowledge where we have research excellence in addressing some of the most complex environmental and social questions. As we approach the holiday season, let's renew our commitment to our values in making a positive impact in the world so that 50 years from now, we can look back and be proud of the role that we played in enabling a sustainable future. From all of us in the Faculty of Environment, happy holidays.